Alright, this is how to do a critical finisher, uh, finishers and Soul Calibur 4. To show you how it works and how it's done, uh, you're going to go into training mode. I'm going to go ahead and uh, select Star Killer, the apprentice. And then I'll just pick some random enemy opponent, more likely. And a stage. First thing you want to do is pause the game. You're going to go to training type. You're going to change it from freestyle to versus CPU. Make sure the CPU level is set to easy. And then go down to the soul gauge display settings and set the enemy soul gauge to empty. Now there's been some misconception here that in order to do a critical finisher, you need to have your soul gauge maxed out. You do not. Your soul gauge could be empty, it could be blinking, it doesn't have to be blinking blue. All you need is for your opponent's soul gauge to be blinking red. Once you've made the changes, exit out of the uh, training options. Now you see in the top right corner that the soul gauge is blinking red. Go ahead and do a couple hits. Uh, when their armor breaks and they stagger back, you want to hit the left bumper a few times to activate the critical finisher. Just like that. As you notice, my soul gauge was at normal, it was not empty, nor was it full blinking blue. Your soul gauge does not have to be blinking or full, it's just the opponent has to be empty, which is blinking red. I'll do it one more time. It's that simple and that easy. You can do this against the CPU and everybody else online.